Hello, welcome back to Talk Time. Today, my special guest is Mr. Ron Palmer, my awesome brother and friend. I love him so much. Him and his wife are members of our church and uh, also leaders um, for our body too. And um, me and my family, we personally love them dearly. Uh, but today, Ron has come on Talk Time to uh, talk about prosperity. And um, I would like uh, Ron also to share his great testimony on getting out of debt God's way. Welcome, Ron. Hi, good to be here. <laughs> Yay. Thank you for coming on on such short notice. <laughs> well, <we're> short. It's <laughs> okay. Yeah, good. I'm glad to be here. Good. Thank you. Well, listen, tell the world um, how things got started with you. How did things kind of start to get in trouble with money in the beginning? Like everybody, just found out I could sign my name and thought that was the right game and, and did that for a lot of years. Mm -hmm. and, and compiled a, a mountain of debt. Uh, I, had, uh, I had a mortgage on my house, I had a second mortgage on my house, I had a home improvement loan on my house, I, was, I had owed on vehicles that I didn't have. Mm -hmm. I had a loan uh, called a ready cash account that uh, you just wrote the check and then paid the payments and in interest as you went along after that. Oh wow. Um, I, I, it, when I when I met Wanda, I asked her to marry me, and I said, "We, you know, we need to sit down and go over my debts." And as we did, her eyes got bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Finally, I just looked at her and said, "Listen, honey, if I know on my own." <clears throat> she married me anyway, thank God. But I had already joined a war on debt, um, a biblical war on debt. Hmm. I, I wanted more than anything to be debt free. And, and walk in the love and the grace of God without ties, without being in bondage. Yeah. And so it, it started with, with a simple thing, and that's just paying my tithes, but I also wanted to give. Mm -hmm. And so I asked Wanda to um, just round off whatever we were giving. If our tithes were 100, I mean 100, I wish. That back then they were, I was lucky if they were $40. But, if my ties were forty dollars, I wanted to pay forty-one. I wanted to give something yeah. every week, and we did that. <clears throat> and and we tightened up. We we did some things physically, you know, uh, carnally. I'll say it that way. But we honored God with with the first fruits of everything. If I, I'm I'm a deer hunter, if I shot a deer, I paid a tithe on a deer. I mean, I just wow. I paid tithes on everything. And uh, we just started to walk, and, and sometimes it was a difficult walk, but we committed not to go in debt, not to borrow any money. Mm. And uh, we just started walking, and, and as I said, I, I had a mortgage, a second mortgage, and a home improvement loan. Um, as we walked along, debts just began to get paid. I didn't make enough money to do it. I, I really can't explain that. but. I was I was taking home about three hundred dollars a week, and we were paying debts, big debts, off. Wow! And when we'd pay one debt off, then we'd take that payment and apply it to another debt along with its payment. And and that was a that was a process called rap, rapid debt reduction that we learned from John Avanzini. Mm -hmm. And uh, eventually, we were, we were coming out of it. And in five years. In five years, we were totally debt free and paid cash for the house that we live in now, and we've been debt free ever since. Wow! We don't owe on any vehicles. We don't owe on. We don't owe any money. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> Bondage was removed. That's what's wonderful, and, it, and we did it God's way. God said, "You know, where where my people rob me in tithes and offerings," mm. and and when I learned that and I stopped robbing Him. Mm. He did some things for me that he said he would do. He rebuked the devourer for my sake, and things weren't going bad that had been going bad. Um, and it, there's such freedom in being debt free, and I think that's why God would like all of His kids to be debt free. Yes, because there's no bondage, and that's that's nice. When you see a need, you can dive into it. You know, you can help with it. It's a yeah. good way to live. Amen. So, Mr. Ron, I love how first you recognize the problem. You recognize, I'm, I'm in trouble here. And because a lot of people walk around thinking they all right and or either that, you know, they can handle it by themselves. <laughs> and but you recognize I, I, I'm in trouble and I need God's help. 
and you were obedient to paying tithes, that probably was a huge uh, step right there, correct? God calls for us to be obedient and and it's not always an easy thing to be obedient, you know. Right. We, we sacrificed some things. We didn't. We didn't do things. I remember one time. I'll share this. Um, we decided that in a 30-day period, we were going. Rwanda and I were going to write down every penny we spent. Mm. I mean, every penny. If 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 I bought a bag of potato chips, I wrote it down. If I bought a pop, I wrote it down. She did the same. Wow. We didn't talk about it. We never, we never compared notes, we never did anything. At the end of 30 days, we sat down with our two papers and we were both absolutely amazed how much money we threw away mm -hmm. in a 30 day period. Mm -hmm. and, and we decided that we didn't have to do that. If we were gonna throw money away, we we're gonna throw it into God's way. <laughs> That's <you know>? right. <laughs> and, and every time you do that, God finds a new way to bless you. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and he just started pouring blessings out on us. And, it's been a wonderful walk, I, and and with that, you know, it's it's not that there aren't still needs sometimes, and that there aren't still some financial callings that are a little bit tough, but God will always provide if we keep Him first and foremost in our finances. If we can't make God the God of our finances, which is a small thing, then how are we going to make Him God of the big things? Come on, preach. You know, and <laughs> yes. we need that. The mm -hmm. body of Christ needs that. Yes. And God just wants to bless us. That's all He wants to do. Yeah. Yeah. And, he, and obedience and commitment bring blessing. That's right. That's awesome. <laughs> and I hope that everybody gets this because I know there's a lot of people out there that struggles financially. Number one, be obedient and put God in the center of your finances. Make sure you pay your tithes and offering. Now, Mr. Ron, before I go any further, now that you are debt free, and these were major, major debts Some. that you had, yeah. uh, like, um, just like you said earlier, if I knew him, I owed him. <laughs> I know um, on my own. And, and now you're free from all of that, and you guys live in a beautiful home that you paid cash for, right? Right. And you are the owner of how many businesses? Three. I, I own two, and I'm co-owner on, on a third. On a third. Yes. Folks, this, this is what being obedient to God will do. You'll be able to pay for your home in cash. You'll be able to uh, run a business God way. <laughs> and and I, I just, I, I just bottom line, um, look, almost said Pastor Ron. Our pastor's name is Ron, too. <laughs> but you are a pastor. You speak sometimes. You, you bring the word for it. But um, bottom line, what, what's, um, what would you like people to know um, on prosperity. Uh -uh. The first thing, the first thing is recognizing that there is a war. Mm -hmm. We have a, we have a real enemy that makes it really easy to get in debt. How many credit card applications do, yeah. we, do you get? Yeah. You know, how hard is it to sign the paper? Right. And and when you recognize that as a battlefield, it it's not only easy not to sign the paper; it's even easier just to throw the thing away. Mm -hmm. But recognizing that it's a war is the beginning. As long as you don't think it's a war, you probably will never win it, you know? Mm -hmm. And that was the first thing that I recognized. Mm -hmm. There's a war here. Something is battling me inside and outside. So that would be the first thing I would say, is understand it's a war. Mm -hmm. Secondly, and most importantly, trust God. Yeah. Trust that he'll oh, that's do. Huge. Believe that he'll do what he said he'd do. And he said if you'd bring in the tithes, he would open the windows of heaven and pour you all blessings blessing. that you're not that's able right. to contain. Mm -hmm. And so if you trust him, if you believe that, you'll trust him. Yeah. And and I am a walking testimony that he he honors his word. He does that. Yeah. Um, Wanda and I have had a a, a good life, mm -hmm. you know, since then. Again, I'm not saying that there hasn't been times when, when we had to get in our faith. You know, we had to stand in our faith and say, you know, God, this, this is bigger than what we got. How do we do this? Especially owning businesses. Mm -hmm. there's, some, there's some big walls that jump up once in a while. Mm -hmm. But God is always faithful. Mm -hmm. He's always there. He's never too late. We just get in a hurry. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. 
Awesome. <laughs> Well, Mr. Ron, thank you again for coming and speaking with all of us on finances. Thank you. Uh, this is a huge thing with uh, God's people. You know, sometimes we we wonder, we question God. God, where's the abundance? Where, where, you know, where's all the blessing? And but first, you you've got to be obedient. You've got to do what His Word says. You do. Yeah. You do. So let me just tell you guys. Hey, if God will do it for this awesome man of God, He'll do it for you too. Thank you for talking about prosperity with us. Can I pray for the people? You sure can, please. <laughs> Father, right now, we just come before you, Lord. We lift up this whole audience. Father, I know that debt is a, is a horrible thing. And Lord, I know that you have a blessed way out. Mm. And I just ask you, Father, to open, the, let, their ear, let them have ears to hear. Open their ears, open their eyes of understanding that they too, Father, can walk right out of debt with your assistance, yes. with your leading, and with your guidance. Yes. And I thank you for it, Father, in advance. Thank you. In Lord. Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. Oh, you see why I love this brother? <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's all we have for talk time today. Thank you so much. Blessings. I love you.